Hello everyone, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and I welcome you to another Android Studio app development tutorial. So in this tutorial today, we're going to talk about managing the access level in Firebase. Generally, if you have application where you have different type of users like admins and uh, normal users and you want to specify the specific operations only for the admins and specific operations or activity only for the users then you need to specify the access level for them so that uh, users won't be able to access the action that is only available to the admins right so uh, i looked it up and there is no official way to uh, implement it and i don't think firebase has given any specific directions how to implement it and they don't have any built-in functions for that so what i'm going to do in this video is that i'm going to implement the access level in my own way so if you guys know better way to do this then let me know in the comment below or else if you have other better ways or methods to implement the access level then i'm open for the suggestions to save our time i have already created the sample applications and there i have uh, created the layouts and everything i need but i have not connected that application to the firebase so we'll do that now so you can go ahead and download the sample application from the github i'm going to link that in the description so that you can download it and start along with me so here you can see i have a sample application called user roles and i'm going to open it and once the application is opened you'll see that i have already designed the login screen and the registration screen and this is a simple firebase email authentication system and if you want to learn more about firebase email authentication system then i have already created the series on that you can go back into the channel and watch it or i'll just link that with a playlist in the description and you can go ahead and watch it there i have explained every details on how to implement the firebase email authentication system in your application okay so here we are going to start by implementing the email authentication obviously because we are going to need the authentication system right and after that we'll save the data into the firestore and there we will save the flags and everything so we should be able to identify which user is admin and which user is user right so for that we are going to use the flags or boolean flags okay is admin is user that kind of thing and after that uh, we will load the different kind of activity based on the user is logging in okay so in the login screen we will uh, just identify what kind of user is logging in and based on that we will let them have the different we will open the different activity so that they can perform the different operations okay so here i'm just going to quickly show you guys what i have already created okay so i have just i had created the blank application and after that i created this uh, two more activities for our application that is login and the register activity and here uh, in the register activity i have designed this layout where i have given full name email address password and phone number and here you can see two more options that is register as teacher and register as a student so here for only for the example purpose i have given these six boxes and uh, uh, you know in the situation where there is multiple users that are present in your application you may uh, it is good idea to give them options to choose what kind of uh, user they are create what kind of account they are creating let's say this is the uh, campus application or college application then there might be a teacher and the student and uh, you want to have the teacher to different set of apps actions that is available to them and if you want a uh, student to have different set of applications then you can give this kind of option here and based on that we'll create the accounts and we will let them have the different access level right but this is not necessary and we can manually uh, add the access level that we'll see how to do that and so in the login screen uh, I have uh, only given the email address and password and you can see the user can log in right and let's talk about the classes in the register class uh, only thing I have done here is uh, created the variables for our edit text and buttons and I also have one boolean value to check all these fields okay uh, because uh, every 
uh, field here should be filled when user click on create account if not then we're going to display the error to the user obviously so that's why i have uh, connected the xml resources to this email address password phone number and all these buttons and everything and after that i'm i have created one more method where i have checked if the um, data is filled into that particular field or not if data is not filled or if that particular field is empty then we are going to display some error message and we will set the boolean as false because data is not valid yet and if everything goes right then we'll set the valid as a true so that we'll be able to proceed ahead okay so as i said i have not connected this application to the firebase so let's go ahead and do that now i hope that you have downloaded this application from the github and you have opened that in your android studio as i said that we have not connected firebase into this particular application so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to connect it a firebase project with this particular android applications uh, so that we'll be able to proceed ahead so to connect the firebase if you have been following my videos then you know but if you don't then just follow along with me click on firebase from the tools here and this is the firebase assistant which makes things easier for us to connect so there are a few things available here you can see the only uh, things we are interested in is authentication and the firestore because we are going to implement the firebase email authentication using the authentication module and we are also going to need firestore to save the data okay the user data so first let's connect this authentication and now here you can see multiple steps but we will only follow the step one and two here so first we need to connect to the firebase so click and connect to firebase here okay it, it is asking me to accept the term and condition click on okay and continue and now i can go ahead and create new project so i'm going to click on new project and here it will ask for me to write the names and this is the default name so click and continue and you can enable or disable this analytics i'm just click and continue and now you need to accept the term and conditions and finally click and create project and once you have done that it's going to uh, take some time to create the project for you okay the project is created and now i can click and continue and finally it's going to ask me to connect to the android studio and once I click on connect, it's going to connect this particular application to the particular Android Studio project. So I'm going to click on connect. And now our app is up and running and ready to go. Okay. So let's go to the Android Studio and here you will get the messages that's saying we have connected this Android Studio project to the Firebase project. And if you get this success message, then we are good to go. Here you can see it is also displaying the connected. Now we need to add the Firebase authentication module to our app. So now click on add Firebase authentication to your application button here and click on accept changes. And it's going to start the um, Gradle here. Once that is done, we are good to go. And while that is running in the background, let's come here and click on Firestore. And here also it displays the first step is already uh, completed. Now we, we just need to add this Cloud Firestore to our application. We'll do that once the build is finished. Click on Add Cloud Firestore to your app, accept changes. And similarly, it's going to start the Gradle build. And once that is done, we can start using it. And in the meantime, I'm going to go back to the Firebase console here. So console dot firebase.com and here i'm going to choose the correct account okay so here we need to enable few things so first things we need to enable that we are using the email authentication so we need to enable that from the authentication section so let's go to the project that we have just created and let's go to the authentication section here and from here we can go to sign in method tab and there will have multiple options that we can use but thing we are interested is in email and passport and we need to enable it from here okay if you don't do that you will you will not be able to use this email and password authentication method to create account that means whenever we try to register new account it's going to fail okay 
so that was the essential method and we also need to uh, change the rules in cloud firestore so let's go back to the cloud firestore here and since we are doing this for the first time it's going to ask ask us to create the database so let's create the database click on that and uh, we'll start with the production mode and you can also start in test mode but that is not recommended so let's go to with the let's go with the production mode okay you can set the location here that is not important for the test application that we're creating so let's click on enable and it's going to take few seconds okay guys so the firebase cloud firestore database is created right and now we need to set the rules here because when we start in production mode it's only allow application to read the data from the firestore and not to write it but in our case we also need to store the data or user information into the firestore so we our application should be able to write the data into the database but one thing that we need to make sure is that every user who try to write the data must be authenticated okay so that's why here you can see allow read it is allowing every document that is present in the database to be uh, to be read by any application but it is not allowing any application to write it so here we need to change the condition here we'll only allow the application to write the data into the database if they are authenticated okay we wa we don't want any unauthenticated user or unknown user to be able to write the data into the database so that's why to enable that feature we need to uh, use the request object and request at auth is not equals to null that means the auth object that is present in the firebase should not be null when they are trying to uh, write the data into the database that means user is authenticated okay the only condition when the request at auth is not null is when the user is authenticated in our application that means user have signed in with